going on guys welcome back to another video thank you so much for watching and welcome to the new setup this is the new setup and it's gonna be a lot of fun I hope you guys enjoy this video and today we are going to copy our UMDs onto our PSP system and we're gonna copy the files onto our memory card that way you know you don't have to carry all your UMDs all around and I have a couple examples here. Uh, here's a carrying case with all the UMDs. And the screen here to my right, or to my left, or to your right, but to my left, <laughs> this is actually my PSP screen on Remote Joy Lite. And it's right here. Right now I'm using the application, uh, the UMD Dumper app, to dump. Star Wars Clone Wars and as you can see we're sitting at 86 percent we'll actually transition here so you can have a better look and it's 87 percent done so it's almost there it took about mm, it's about a two gigabyte file so what's great about this application is that it tells you how much the UMD has and then towards the end of the dump it will show you the exact number that it's gonna use to finish the ISO copying the ISO onto your memory stick so make sure you have enough space on your memory stick to do this I'm actually running off a micro SD card with an adapter that's a 64 gigabytes and that's just more than enough for me and so I will be showing you how to install this application it's very easy uh, first thing is you have to be running on custom firmware um, it really doesn't matter which firmware but I really highly recommend you being at least 6.60 Pro C right now I'm running off infinity 2.0 which is working just fine and I'm very excited to see the dump here and looking forward to doing this so let's do this all right guys let's go ahead and install this application and this will work for the PSP 1000 2000 and 3000 just make sure that you're running custom firmware so uh, let's begin by plugging in our PSP via USB cable here let's run USB connection I disconnected from remote joy light because they just don't like to communicate like that with each other so um, here's our USB drive now you want to go to the first link in the description and that's going to take you to uh, dcemu.co.uk and here is the UMD dumper 2.4 and the attached file here's the zip file and what you want to do is click on that and it will download now we want to go find that folder and you want to extract that by using your extracting program I like to use 7-zip I have a link for that program in the description below so I'll extract here in downloads and now we can go into our PSP drive let me uh, clean this up for you we can delete the zip file we don't need that now let's go into our PSP drive go to PSP folder then go into game and now we want to drag this in here or you just want to right click copy then go in here right click paste now I already have this file so I'm not going to replace it it's going to take like a few seconds and that's basically it now we can go back onto our PSP and start dumping alright so I have my PSP all reset because I wanted to reactivate remote joy light now let's go into our game go into our memory stick and you should see this here is the UMD dumper version 2.4 original work by Spector mod updated by Al Mulder so thank you guys for providing this awesome homebrew for us this is great alright so now we have to decide on which UMD we want to dump you don't want to do a large game like Grand Theft Auto if you don't have enough space because it won't work the UMD application dumper won't copy the ISO if you don't have enough space and you want to use 
a good working UMD. You don't want to use something like this. Here's a couple examples of some broken pieces that I got here. I tried to copy Metal Slug, but as you can see it's damaged and my UMD reader on the PSP does not see it, nor does it see the Liberty Story, so I have to replace the casing on these guys and just make sure you're, you're doing a game that's uh, not too large. Now I have this one here. This is the Justice League Heroes. There we go. Now make sure you have a fully charged battery. You don't want this thing to die in the middle of dumping one of your games. So here is the game. Sorry, I don't have like a second camera to show this part, but fairly easy. Make sure your console reads the UMD before you begin because it won't do anything unless you know your console already sees it um, so let's go back and there it is there's my UMD let's go back to our main PSP window and there's Justice League Heroes very good and now I'm gonna go let's just double check to make sure that the game is not actually on here yet I don't think I have this one copied Yep, I don't. So, let's start the application by pressing X. And it's a very simple uh, interface. It's nothing too crazy, which is great. It's not too difficult to understand. There's a bunch of UMD dumpers out there that have really crazy language. Like, I think it's like German or something like that. So, it, I wouldn't even bother with those unless you speak the language but here are the release notes UMD dumper version 2.4 now in English add release notes into menu added memory stick size info added UMD size info created on the fly UMD swapping before dump starts created on the fly memory card swapping before dump starts updating info on the fly after swaps and it's just basically telling you all the all the stuff they did on this version which is great now let's press O to continue loading PSP I like that it's like very simple and now it says warning dumping of ISOs is illegal now from what I read online it's not illegal if you actually have and own the game and I highly recommend you owning the game first before you do this now if you're gonna copy a friend's ISO or a friend's UMD just make sure that he owns it and I mean people are gonna do what they wanna do but yeah I just like I said highly recommend you own your own UMDs uh, for this process so use the software at your own risk you take full responsibility responsibility they didn't spell that right for the use of this software if you continue using it. Let's go back by pressing O. And now it's gonna bring you to a new window and it says not enough free memory. So it says insert a different memory card and it says ready 1375.28 megabytes. So we wanna to return to XMB. Now this is a great example. There's not enough space on my memory card to do this. So, uh, we're going to have to go back and see what we can delete from our library of games here. I'm kind of glad that it happened so you guys can see firsthand what happens when you don't have enough space to do this. I'm going to delete Thrillville. It's 690 megabytes. And I'm also going to delete uh, the first game we installed and that was the Star Wars Clone Wars. Let's delete that and now I'm going to restart my system just in case okay let's go back and restart the application hopefully I have enough space so we can do this demo real quick all right press O to continue it's loading now our warning message will pop up and press back 
Okay, now we have all green lights on everything. We can see that the memory card is ready to go with enough space. Uh, it's about 2.7 gigabytes and the UMD is ready, which is good. The, the application is actually reading the UMD and it's ready to copy all the files onto your memory card. And now we can start dumping by pressing O. And now we are going to rename our ISO. So we're going to have to do that, guys, because if you just go ahead and just leave them as new dump, it's going to overwrite your files and you want a unique name every single time you dump your UMD so this one was uh, I'm just gonna say Justice League by oops let me go with J go with oops let's go to whoops Justice League. And now we're going to press start. So on the top we see please insert UMD. And then it says test starting. The UMD open says it's okay, it's closed. Target open, okay. Memory allocation, okay. Now we have the starting size check. UMD size check, okay. And the total bytes, okay which is well it's a large number so they're going down to like the minimum bytes and we see that 128 bytes are being read and 128 bytes are being written on the memory card so the percentage done is three percent so approximately depending on which umd you choose to dump it should take about 10 to 15 minutes for it to be fully complete a game like Grand Theft Auto or something large, uh, perhaps like Call of Duty or Final Fantasy, it might take a little longer. So just be aware of that. And yeah, you just want to not touch your PSP, set it down, uh, make sure you have fully charged battery. If you don't, just plug in your power just in case. All right, so I'll be back with the results. Very excited to see what we got here. All right, so we made it to 97% and we're almost done. And once it's done dumping your ISO onto your memory stick, it should restart back to your main menu on your PSP. And the application will close by itself. So percentage done, 100% ripped, completed. And now it's going to restart. And I have to restart my remote joy light here real quick. There we go. And now we can remove our disk or UMD. There we go. Now we're going to go down to our game. We should now see a new file for Justice League. And there it is. Very cool. So it did copy, no problem. And here's the information. So it was uh, 1,376 megabytes for this game, which is not bad. So that is basically it. That is how you dump your games onto your memory stick. And this will not work for videos. It will not work for movies or anything that relates to videos. This will only work for video games. So just keep that in mind. And that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I do appreciate it. Anything that I can improve on my videos, please let me know in the comment section below or if you have any questions. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this one. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.